So we're just integrating the pipe into this little pool that we've got here. And as long as that can come up above the, um, the highest point in the pipe, the system should self-start. One of the good things about this design is it doesn't need like proper earthworks, like we won't need to pour any concrete or anything. Strangely for Scotland, we've not had much rain, so the water level is quite low. So we can just sort of like get it all set up, get the turbine plugged in, run it through, make sure that it works in principle, and then come back after some rain, which we're hoping to have in the next couple of days, and run it properly. Alright, try that, see what happens. <laughs> Still going. Yeah, it's not a full siphon though. It needs to be like the whole like the whole tube is gushing. We've still got air in there. You feel it blowing air. Python. Yeah, it's running. Yeah. There's no air in that at all. You want to hold it here and I'll see um, if it can rest in the rock. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. It's got the weight. Yeah, it's good, good to shift it off to the side for flood levels because when it is high, this just washes straight over. So any kind of kit sitting there would be at risk. But it's quite nice to have this bit of land here where we'll set up the test mode. It's quite, quite neat, this location. Yeah, no, that's good. I think that's a good uh, good run. Let's test the intake a bit and then get everything sort of fixed up and secure. Yeah, get a and, filter uh, in place. And plenty of water, we can then test it and that'll be good. Yeah, and then like the water flow should keep the most of the leaves off. I mean, ideally, we'll see. And then, yeah, there's not much bubble in the water by the time it gets there. A lot of stuff should move past it. Hopefully. I think I think we're in for the shot. Great. Full power. <laughs> Okay, let's chuck it back out, turn the water off, and then put the turbine assembly on. I think we're good to go with that now. I think maybe we just wipe it off as it. It's gonna go everywhere. Yep, yeah. alright, since it's got the, the plexi on it.
so yeah, that gives it clean. And then the back and sides should hopefully kind of sort of self clean with the water flow going past them. It's my hope anyway. <laughs> There's so much surface area that like it doesn't need to be that clean really to have enough uh, intake. Yeah, this is a much better spot. Like the water's just so much, uh, yeah, it's always, so much better quality. Always going to be calm, right? And an extra meter ahead, or whatever, or however much, should be good as well. That'll do it. You're going to have trouble getting the turbine on there, aren't you? Uh, yeah, we can just lift this out. That's a, that's a five minute from now problem. Let's go check the flow. Yeah, that's proper. Now, like, there's no problem with, like, catching the rocket and getting the siphon going or not. Like, that's a complete self start. Uh, and no air as well. So I'm going to swap out that runner. So I made up two more runners and discovered that like these uh, angle grinder cases are like the perfect little yeah. transpo nice. caddy. So this one's more blades, steeper pitch. I feel like that's probably going to be less efficient, but I'll give it a go. But this one is basically identical to the one that's been in there, just without the plastic ring around it. Hopefully there shouldn't be too much weight off it, like if the water's in free fall. Oh shit! You're right! Go, go the house, <laughs> yeah, that was me last time. Are you okay? <laughs> it's a warm day, how's the water? It's quite nice. Yeah. Yeah. At least you got to change your clothes, like, <laughs> no, you have nearby. I'm not far away, not like you say. <laughs> yeah, it was an interesting train ride home, it was, like, <laughs> saturated yeah. up to the waist. Uh, are you going to wire it first? Um, let's just get it going, open the circuit, and see what happens, basically. But then, yeah, after that, I'll put a load on it. Alright, chuck her in. Now well, that unfortunately answers that question. No, these are not not strong enough as is. <laughs> okay, so take two with the steeper pitched nine bladed fan which is probably weaker than the other one if anything i think it, well hopefully the previous one which just snapped was like just a shitty fan basically but i have no guarantee this one isn't as well i'm just going to chuck it in and see what happens is that the highest reading seems it but the steeper pitch fan will bolt lower Lower speed, higher torque. It might even just be lower efficiency. So the second uh, propeller also exploded, but weirdly not until the last second when we turned off the water. It was uh, spinning about 60 volts up until then, that dropped up to 45. It might have lost some blades or there might have been some friction in the system. And then as soon as we killed the water and took it apart, like all the blades are gone. So it's almost like turning the water off is what sheared them. Uh, so I'm gonna now chuck on 
what we had originally, which is the ring reinforced blade to be a lot stronger. But the problem last time was that a little stone, or a couple of little stones, got like sucked in, and basically, no, this is supposed to be flat. That's all been ground in by like the the stones grabbing in on there. So I'm gonna like take out this innermost ring of plastic here. Hopefully I'll give enough clearance that with like the, the finer mesh screen up the top. Hopefully mean that um, that doesn't happen again. And this should be a lot stronger and hopefully hold up. So I'm gonna put this in place. Uh, I'm gonna do another power test. And then I'm gonna like leave this running for some days, some weeks, see what happens. And then um, reassess basically. And I think I'm gonna get a server fan with the same, same shape and not a lot more expensive but a lot stronger, it's like fiber reinforced, and hopefully that will hold up. And I'll just get some better standard fans which are like a bit stronger plastic. I think the ones I got were a bit too cheap. Uh, they just couldn't, couldn't take the load, but hopefully a less cheap, less shitty one will, will do it. Okay, let's chuck her in, see what happens. What's that? 50 volts, 2.5 amps, so it's 125 watts right there. That's not bad for like thinner pipe. That's 50% of your open circuit voltage. Yeah. So and that's generally where the maximum power point sits. 120 watts. I'm not unhappy with that. And it's still room for improvement. So 125 watts is not bad as a starting point. It's less than the 200 I was getting in Berlin, but there's a few reasons for that. Mainly that in Berlin I had 125 millimeter pipe before the turbine and 200 after. Here it's only 110 and then 160. Also the hoverboard wheel that I'm using as an alternator here it turns out to be only putting out about 42 to 45 volts DC rectified per thousand RPM as opposed to the Berlin one which is doing the more standard about 55. And the liquid rheostat I was using wasn't quite conductive enough to pull the maximum amperage to max out the power curve. So we're still cresting that curve um, with that measurement. And so the next day I go back, I will tweak that and the other sort of optimizations I've got in mind, um, including a vectorizer for angling the flow onto the turbine so it vortexes and spins the water onto the blades rather than just having it go through straight. I don't know what that's going to do. Maybe it'll make it better, maybe it'll make it worse. I'll find out. But so the next video will be that last 5-10% efficiency and power extraction is getting the system sort of honed in on its, on its sweet spot. I'm a little surprised that the fans blew up like they did. I have used them before and they've held together quite well. Uh, I think it was maybe just because previously I've had them on turbines that had about two and a half to three meters of head. This one has about like four and a half. So maybe just the extra pressure just sort of crosses the threshold of what they can survive. I will experiment with ways of making them stronger. And I've also ordered a server fan, which is Basically the same thing, doesn't even cost that much more, but is just a lot stronger plastic, basically. So I'll be trialing those um, the next time I go out to Glasgow as well. A few of you have been asking about the tutorial, when that's coming out, um, which is good, uh, that there's that much interest in it. The answer is soon, basically. Currently I'm updating the wind turbine tutorial based on the data that I'm getting off the rooftop installation here in Edinburgh. And as soon as that's done, basically I'll launch straight into the 3D animated step-by-step -step tutorial for this. That will be on the channel and on the open source lowtech.org website. Uh, and I'll do another video coming out soon on the wind turbine and then the water turbine. Um, and so that's basically it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, comment them here and I'll get back to you. Uh, also, you can email me directly through the opensourcelotech.org website. My email address is there. Um, and like, subscribe, you know, the usual, the usual stuff. You know what's up. And I'll see you in the next one.